Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about starting your own pole practice at home. video thank you so much for polecats manila for my home pole setup and thank you to pure movement lab for my outfit for today first of all let's answer the question is it really possible ba na matuto ka ng pole na wala ka sa studio at online lang the easy answer to this is definitely a big yes it is totally possible for you to learn pole online Dati, yung mga class kagaya ng pole, sa studio mo lang yan makikita. But since nagkaroon ng pandemic, there was a shift in terms of how we teach pole. Ngayon, pwede ka na mag-class sa Pole Cats Manila both in the studio and also online. Lahat ng classes namin, from pole, hoop, silks, and hammock, and even rings, can be taken online. We also have other classes such as Mighty Fit, Mat Flexibility, Retro, and even Booty Workout that are available online also. But since the topic of discussion today is about pole, we're gonna center our discussion about pole dancing. The first thing that you have to do is to find a school that teaches online instruction. The studio where I teach at is at Pole Cats Manila. The teachers there are trained to teach in an online format, meaning hindi ka mahihirapan intindihin yung class if you're gonna take class online. You also want to make sure that the class that you attend is a small control group. Ibig sabihin, hindi kayo sobrang dami in one class. So, in Pole Cats Manila, the limit to pole students is around 15 to 10 people. And that gives us an opportunity to be able to watch you correctly, to spot you verbally, and to make sure that you are doing the correct things kahit na hindi tayo magkasama sa same studio. You can check out all the available classes at www.polecatsmanila.com. Some people might ask, kung possible ba talaga na matuto kayo ng pole kahit wala kayong teacher na nagsuspot sa inyo? Definitely, the answer to this is yes. Pwede kang matuto ng pole kahit wala kang physical spotter. I mean, pwede mo naman tanungin yung mga tao sa bahay na tulungan kang ispot. But of course, ang goal natin is magawa natin lahat ng chicks on our own. Things that you can do to keep your safe space is to make sure that you have a mat with you or kahit na, you can pile a few pillows by the side of your pole in case that you're doing something like an inversion or doing a trick for the first time. The second thing that I want to talk about is the equipment na kailangan mo. If nakikita niyo sa likod ko, this is a home pole. So, it is a stainless steel pole that has been installed in my home so that I can be able to teach and take class online. What are the things that you should consider when purchasing your own pole? Of course, marami namang options dyan na mas mura and pwede ka naman talaga magpa-fabricate ng own pole mo. But of course, you wanna make sure that your practice is safe. So I would recommend that you purchase a pole that is graded and a pole that is designed specifically for pole dancing. Poles like this one are guaranteed na matibay sila tsaka hindi sila bibigay if bigyan mo sila ng weight or sampahan mo siya. Kasi syempre yung mga ginagawa natin sa pole, Maraming weight-varying checks yun. You go upside down, you climb up, tapos parang minsan naalog pa siya or nagsispin ka on it. So it's important na the pole that you use is super stable and will not let you down. Kasi syempre, nakakatakot yun if mahulog siya. And the way to prevent accidents like that from happening is to make sure that the pole that you get is designed specifically for pole. The brand that I use is x -Pole, and I also got it from Pole Cats Manila. Other things that you have to consider for your home rig is yung ceiling nyo. It's super important na yung pagkakabitan ng pole nyo is a cement ceiling or a crossbeam kung kaho yung ceiling nyo. Ibig sabihin nito, dapat yung pagkakabitan ng pole nyo is a stable base. If you are using a flange mount, which is like the one I'm using right now, or if you're using a dome mount, either is fine. Just make sure that you're connecting it to your most stable anchor point on your ceiling. Marami rin nagtatanong if kailangan mag-drill ba ng butas or something like that on your ceiling if mag install ng pole. Ang sagot doon is not necessarily. If your pole is like mine, then oo, kailangan mag-drill kasi din-drill ko ito eh para stable siya. 
Pero, meron namang mga options like having a dome-type ceiling mount para hindi mo kailangan magbuta sa ceiling. How it works is like it's a tension rod. So, meaning may pressure that pushes up into the ceiling and a pressure that pushes down into the floor. That's what keeps the pole upright and stable. As for the height of the pole that you're gonna buy, it really depends kung ano yung height na available sa bahay nyo. What you can do is to contact the person that you're gonna purchase a pole from, give your ceiling height and requirements, and then sila nang bahala mag-recommend kung anong pole height ang dapat mong punin. If you wish to get a pole installed in your house, you can contact Myla at Polecats Manila. You can email her through myla at polecatsmanila.com or you can shoot us a message through our Facebook or Instagram page. As for the finish, the two most common options that you have is a chrome and a stainless steel pole. As for my choice, mas okay sa akin yung stainless steel pole kasi para sa akin, hindi siya masyado madalas and madali siyang linisin. Uh, some people though prefer chrome kasi for them naman, mas sticky yung chrome. Para sa akin though, mas okay yung stainless steel kasi mas madali siyang linisin saka mas madikit siya sa skin ko for some reason. So, it could be also a skin type thing. What you can do is to ask the person that you're gonna buy from and purchase based on the temperature that you have in your country or in your city. Sometimes kasi, if super pawisin ka, yung stainless steel pole medyo madulas. Kasi syempre, mas madulas ka magpupuna. So, it might be a hassle for you. And chrome might be the better option. If marami kang allergies, a stainless steel pole might be the better option for you. Kasi syempre, stainless steel has less allergens. Other things that you will need to be ready when you take your pole class at home is alcohol and also a towel to wipe your sweat and also your pole. Since sa bahay tayo magpa-practice, same naman yung requirements for when you do it at home and in the studio. Kailangan, you should always keep your pole clean, wipe it down if you feel na madulas ka, and also it helps if you regulate the temperature in your room. Since ako, for example, in this room, there's no aircon, I wanna make sure na meron akong fan to keep myself cool and the room colder to be able to do pole. If pwede nyo pa-air ka na yung space nyo, I mean, okay naman yun, yay for you. Pero if not, mag-work naman yung madaming electric fan. Kaya na natin yan. If you're taking pole for the first time, you must know na kapag pinawisan ka, magiging madulas ka sa pole. Importante na lagi mo siyang kunasan and to make sure that your body is always dry. To do this, you have to make sure that one, wala kang lotion na nilagay on your body on the day na magka-class ka. And secondly, lagi kang merong alcohol and towel to wipe down your pole in case it gets slippery or in case you get sweaty. There are also a lot of grip aids that you can use in case that you need extra tack or extra stickiness. In my case though, ang pinaka nag-work pa rin sa akin is alcohol. Like, alcohol on your body, I know it makes your skin dry but it makes you stick on the pole really, really well. So there, that's it. Other things that might matter when you take your first pole class, you have to make sure that your internet connection is stable. Siyempre, pag mas okay yung internet mo, mas walang interruption the class that you're gonna take. Some people have asked if kailangan ba na naka-sports bra ka or wearing your revealing clothing when you take pole for the first time. You can wear a shirt if you feel uncomfortable being in your sports bra on the first day or something like I'm wearing that is a full body suit, that's fine. As long as your legs are exposed, kasi sa first day mo, yun yung pinaka-importante na kailangan maka-grip sa pole. Other options that you can consider if you belong to a different time zone is to get a recording for your class. Ang ibig sabihin nito, there are some studios that record the class that you wish to attend if you can't make the specific time zone and then you can take it at your own pace. Meron din mga classes that are on demand, meaning that there's a video that is designed specifically for online consumption and you can take that class anywhere, anytime. Hindi naman kailangan na malaki yung space mo to be able to take full class. Kahit na it's a small space, as long as your pole is properly installed, okay na yun for class. You just have to make sure na you attend the pole class na kaya ng space mo. So, ibig sabihin, if it's like, for example, a class that is mostly basics and fundamentals, okay na yung maliit na space. But, it might be a struggle if you're gonna attend classes that have choreo or maybe have heels kasi tatamaan mo yung mga things in your surroundings. Other accessory things that you might want to have, pero hindi naman siya kailangan, is a mirror. If you have a mirror, it helps you kind of like see yourself better. But I understand that not a lot of people have access to a mirror. So, um, it's one of those things that is good to have, pero hindi naman siya super kailangan. The class I teach is every Tuesday, it's full strength at 7 o'clock p.m. at Polkats Manila. You can also check out all the other classes that we offer at www.polkatsmanila.com. 
That's all the information that I had for you today. If there's anything else that you want to ask, let me know in the comments and I will try my best to answer it for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye!